Stone fans out there. We got a lot of Wendell fans too. Hey, hey. Wendell fans. <laughs> Good Saturday morning. Two <laughs> Chef Wendell's here in the kitchen, and it is a cold one out there. Yeah. So you're kind of spicing and heating things up for us. Well, don't you like to go to hearty? I mean, what's your favorite hearty meal when you oh, I want to eat something? Macaroni Go. and cheese. Again, again, you, that's your go-to. <laughs> and you know why? We go to hot that in cold weather, don't we? We yes. kind of tend to this Ooh, kind of chili. weather. Oh yeah, this chili, is chili weather and for stews sure. and maybe a mm -hmm. lasagna, some kind of casserole. Yeah. And that's what we're going to whip up today. I've made a, I call it a lasagna, or, or, or an enchilada casserole, but it's more like an enchilada la, 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 lasagna. Oh, okay. So you know, we don't want to give layers. up all the things, Drew. You know, we don't want to give up all the things that we like, and just because you know. Health's an issue. I mean, we still want to enjoy life. We can but, make know, some healthier alternatives. That's all we need to do is just make a few typical recipes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, to start with, I know when we make um, Mexican food at home, we love enchiladas, we love burritos, we love tacos. We go buy those little packages yes, of, of taco, taco spice mix. Yeah. But do you ever, dear viewers, stop for a second and just put your glasses on and read the label? maltodextrin, preservatives, artificial flavors, artificial colorings, things that your body goes, no, no, don't put that in me, you know. So, you know, if we, when you realize how simple it is to make your own taco spice mix yeah. at home, which is I want to show everybody, we're going to put this together in a minute. Okay. Um, I've put together all, the, it is so simple, people are going to be kind of like, oh, I didn't realize, and that happens to a lot a of lot people. A lot of spices and ingredients they may already have. Th that's possibly? the whole thing, okay. they're sitting in there. Now, when I go to the grocery store and I see, the one, the, the spices that we've been adjusted to follow McCormick's, and I don't want to diss certain brand, but the ones that have been around for a long, mm -hmm. long time, you know, I don't like to cook with powder spices anyway, because powder spices are like what paint by numbers is to good art. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, it's a, it's okay. a sac but now today when you may want to make a spice mix, this is, this is when it's appropriate, but there's organic brands out, brands out there at all your local uh, grow health grocery stores, so there is an alternative. Okay. So what we did today, we've taken all the ingredients that it's in anyone you see, and it's basically things like, I may not be in order, but uh, cayenne, paprika, chili powder, um, there's cumin, there's garlic and onion powder in these two little mm -hmm. friends right here. So these are what you want to do. I wouldn't want to use this for any other thing other than the recipes on there. It's very exact. It's like a half a teaspoon of this. Okay. Um, black pepper. We got a little more uh, uh, cumin. What is this? Let's see. Oh, cayenne, oregano, and oregano. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. And basically, Drew, this is the same flavor you're gonna put yeah. you're gonna touch this and go well that's the same thing in a packet but now you don't but have you to mess. know what's in there but you know you've and you can make a bulk oh gosh yes or oh, you'll be so happy down the road when you take a piece of chicken or fish and and, and, and baste it in this my gosh there's so much you can so do we're gonna finish up the recipe oh we're gonna we're gonna show how to put it together lasagna or casserole however you want to exactly call it. and talk about how we're gonna sub a few ingredients so you can still enjoy what you like okay. and not have to worry about you know extra heart you know heart problems or cancer or anything like that just pure pleasure Good through. stuff. And we're going to put all these recipes on wishtv.com as well. And Guess something what? you have to announce here. We're so used excited. to Chef Wendell having these books, Eat Right Now. You know, right, and I've pumped had, out about had, what, four of those. Four of those, but you have a new one. Well, I'm doing food for the soul, the body, and the oh. soul, and it's called Faith Right Now. I've interviewed 60 to 70 people around Indiana, all of different religions, and I've tied the little stories together in this wonderful, inspiring Christmas time uh, uh, stories of, of, of how people have used their faith to get them through, and all different religions, from Buddhist to Baptist, they're all in, they're all in there. Very cool. So a very well-rounded chef we have here for yes, you. Indeed. Except <laughs> right here. I'm not well-rounded here. Oh, in the that's right. My Good belly. Point. Good point. <laughs> all right, we're going to see you in an hour. We're going to see bet. Marcus right now.